Hey, I'm Ron Drodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to day 22 of The Art of Keith Jarrett. Today let's talk about his phrasing. You know, what, what are some of the words that come to mind with Jarrett's phrasing? Especially when he's got a rhythm section with him, but really everywhere. You know, words like uh, fluid, um, irregular but sounding smooth, you know, unpredictable, um, uh, wonderful <laughs> really. Um, uh, uh, just uh, uh, free, is free phrasing, that's it. So what is it? You've got a steady beat underneath, whether it's, you know, sort of a, uh, you know, a gospel type or bluesy vamp. Van You know, um, I'm not saying that sounds just like Jarrett, right? You know, you know, we all have our own thing, and uh, but it's been influenced by him in that it's it's breaking up the beat in ways that are fresh, um, not be trying to be different just for the sake of being different, but. It, it's, it's slightly unexpected, but sounds very inevitable at the same time. And I think that's one thing he has in common with Mozart. If you read Charles Rosen's book, The Classical Style, about Haydn, Mozart, and uh, Beethoven, you'll see that in the section of Mozart, he'll gives, he gives example after example of phrasing that sounds very like, you know, buttoned up, like after four bars, but it's a three-measure phrase or a five-measure phrase. And that's part of Jarrett's um, thing, too, I think. It's the, making these irregular phrases that sound regular somehow. And uh, the same thing with uh, his phrase lanes are always different. It's where he's putting the accents, shifting the accents. So it's here, 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 here. And then at the same time, also um, uh, turning around the beat, sort of emphasizing one and three and then two and four in different ways, but then always being able to come back. And it, just in a very fresh way. So um, rather than necessarily trying to intellectualize it uh, in advance right now. Let's just, you know, listen to his playing and, and just listen to the phrasing and how it unfolds. Um, it's pretty, pretty amazing and surprising when you hear him do that on a bebop tune that usually is played sort of a certain way, you know, whether it's um, uh, what, like oleo, something like that, um, or a standard like um, uh, Autumn Leaves or even ballads, um, Skylark from Live at the Blue, uh, Blue Note. Listen to his phrasing, just listen to one phrase and then the next, and then the next, and you follow it, and you see, oh, okay, there he's going. It's, 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 uh, it's a whole study, and it'll creep into your own playing in a, in a really good way if you, if you do that long enough. And then sometimes just try to do it intentionally, then other times just forget it and let it come out. So Jarrett's phrasing, wonderful, fluent, unexpected, yet logical. And um, just it's one of my favorite aspects of his playing, so hope you enjoy it too. Let it uh, inform your own playing, and uh, thanks for being here. If you have any comments about a favorite tune where he phrases particularly well or anything, uh, please leave it in the comments. We're supporting each other and uh, all learning from one another, too. So um, thanks for being here.